Guess who's back? Yeah, that's right. Me. Your world's most dangerous nerfer. Pardon the hair, you know, I, I tried to fix it. But how's it going, guys? Toxic nerfer here. I'm back. I'm back <laughs> with uh, the review you've all been asking for since last year. How long has it been since I did a review like that? Well, got the mag set up, I got two 12s, I got a 10, and I got the one that came with it, a 25 rounder. So, pardon the hair, I'm sorry, I don't think there's nothing I can do about it. But guys, the nerf, Ed Strike Elite, Hyperfire. Guys, you've been waiting for this. Now again, I am going to bring all my nerf blasters here. I only have some of them. I don't have all of them. But I will get the mask. I promise you. This is the big one. So, let's go over what this thing is. Finally. Oh my god, this hair. I'll get to it later. But, let's just take the drum out. 25 round drum. They did change the color of this one. Which I'm fine with. So... Starting out with the front, we don't have any end strike attachment points, which I don't think it needs one. It doesn't even look like it should need one. I think it just needs a rail and then that's it. Got a sling point here, here, uh, and then two on the stock right here. The stock, I'll tell you, it's good. I mean, that's, that's level where I am, and this here is a cheek rest. So, like, you could... Place your cheek here. My cheek's kind of fat, I'll tell you that. And hairy. But that's that's lighting up the site pretty well. Um uh handguard here, which is nice, and the rails up top here, which I don't want to put any in. I only got the stampede shield, so I'm not gonna put it on. Oh, uh, I think it needs four C batteries and it goes right into the stock. You just uh remove two screws here and here. And this thing's quiet, I'll be honest. I mean, a lot of people are not going to like the handle here, but it's fine with me. I can still hold it pretty well. Um, and you may be thinking, if this is a flywheel blaster, then where's the jam door? Where's the jam door so we can clear the jams? Because it does say the fixtures right here if you've been reading instructions and not throwing them out. So, jam door is right here. You flick this switch right here. <clears throat> And then you open this up, which actually conveals something different in these blasters. Normally with a blaster, there's like a pusher mech that pushes it into the flywheel system in here. This one uses a conveyor belt. If you can see, this little tab here is the conveyor belt. So once I close this with the latch, and you can see how the, that latch works. Once I close it, it's ready to go. And the the there's like some... I think it's like two prongs that actually uh, push the dart. And I'll use this for example. Like it pushes the dart, so it's hanging up here. And it pushes the dart just enough to get into the flywheel cage and let the flywheel shoot it out. And the fire rate is amazing. I don't think the range is good, but it's amazing. A big elite here, hyper fire here, tiger stripe camo. Better than the other digi camo, but the tiger stripe camo is really cool. They need to do this on every other blaster. So, without me blammering on like a somebody, let's fire this thing. I'm actually going to be using, you know, the, the mags that I just showed you in the beginning. The 10s, the 12s, well, the 10, the 12s, and the 25 that came with it. So, it's hot and dry, it's hot and ready, and I'm going to be shooting at the Panda. Um... The fire rate, I'm going to try to try to show you guys, because it's it's a little scary. <laughs> but this thing's quiet. I mean, take a listen. And the strife is supposed to be the quiet blaster. Wrong! <laughs> Wrong. I'm going to fix my hair, guys. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> you know me, I've been dealing with the undead. I'm trying to get these back. So... Let's begin, shall we? So you're going to see, I hope you can see how fast they're going out. I don't have good lighting, but here we go.
And that's 10. And I'm going to switch to a 12. See, I like how the way that the grip's right here, so that... And then, yeah, again, the mag release is, like, right here, right next to your uh, finger. So you can use this finger to, like, grab it out. I like how you, like, hits, like, right here, so you can, like, move that off. You know? It's kind of cool. I think you could single fire this thing. Well, kind of burst fire it. Just shoot this star off. Why not? And this would be good for firing at my camera. I get this. Uh, I get this mag in so we can end this thing. I'm actually gonna see you guys see how fast it goes. You could just see it eats the darts up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, it's kind of cool. And this is going to be my main blaster for wars. And it's going to be my favorite. So let's, uh, let's finish this round drum off. And you can see here. Finish that drum in a snap. And that's kind of scary for most you most nerfers. And that's kind of cool for this blaster. This blaster I would definitely get. I forgot how much this thing was, but definitely get the Nerf and Strike Elite Piper Fire right here. This blaster is a must have. So look out for firing at my camera cuz this guy is going to be on there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like, because I basically hadn't been making any videos, and you guys deserve it. You guys have been waiting as patiently as I can. Uh, I was, I'll tell you, I really do uh, miss it. Oh, also, go to Gabriel Sarah. Um, he'll post a... He'll probably put it in the comments, like his YouTube channel. So you can look at the skit we've done. It was a Drake and Josh skit that we done. And we did the honeycomb skit. Yeah, that part with Crazy Steve touching uh, Officer Kelly's head. And he says, don't touch that. <laughs> there's bloopers. There's, act there's the actual one that we made. And hey, check it out. And as always, stay scary. And I'll see you next time.